Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's race is two laps off Gotham Grind. It's about 20 kilometers with about 200 meters of elevation gain. Hopefully, it should go well. I'm hoping to win this one. Not too much climbing, so it should favor me again. Last time I, in my previous race, I thought I should have won, but I managed to mess it up. First, I didn't have my train difficulty set up right, so I drew, I lost them on the last lap, and then I had to sprint to catch up, and then on the final sprint, my cleat came out, so that's not great. So what I've done is I've tightened them, I've checked my cleats, and they shouldn't come out this time, so all that is good. So yeah, hoping for a win today. That's the aim, first place, see if I can get my second ever Class C victory. All right, three minutes left, I'm gonna get on, and let's get started. So we've got a typical Zwift aggressive start, five, 600 watts out the gate. So this race has all categories visible, which is quite interesting because at the beginning, two C guys go off and they stick with the Bs and As. And at this point, I'm having to decide whether I want to go with them or not, but it's already too late. So I just end up settling down here with another C guy and the B guy. So yeah, this is the first two kilometers of the race done. It's not a long race this time, 16 kilometers to go. Overall, it was about 19 kilometers. This course has lots of rolling hills up and down all the time. No flat ground at all, which is a bit annoying. It's quite a nice route though. It definitely tests you and keeps you on your toes. So the strategy here is to hope the C guys who went with the A's and B's will eventually get dropped and they'll be so tired from all their work trying to stick with the high categories that they'll just be ready and ripe for the taking. They have a 20 second lead at the moment but they are putting out some major watts per kilogram so I just assume they can't keep up with that pace forever. It's ridiculous really. Anyway, me and Yana here are just sitting together. I'm just trying to save energy, drafting off him, having to put a lot of work in going up these hills. He's a B category rider and he got dropped straight away. So yeah, I'm just trying to stick with him. It'll be good if I can beat him. That's the aim for this race actually. And it ends up being just me and him. The guy we're coming up to you now, he was one of the C guys who was sticking with the high categories, but he's been dropped now. So he's probably just waiting to sit on our wheels for a while and have a little rest. So we're coming up to about halfway now, almost at the end of the first lap. And you can see the graph at the bottom. I'm having to put on a lot of work, barely any rest at all. It's all lots of power going up hills or working at around threshold on the straights. So yeah, it's a very hard race so far. The pace is really intense. I'm not feeling that great at this point, but my heart rate is strangely low. So there's, so that's good. The pace is finally starting to drop a bit now and we've managed to drop all the other Cs. It's just me, Yana and this other C guy. So yeah, eventually we end up dropping Candes. I think it was up this hill actually. We both go for some pure power and he ends up getting dropped. So a pure battle between me and Yana until the end. It's me, a C category against the B category. So really he should win, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So anyway, up this hill here, I, I suddenly decide to attack for no reason. I guess I was just a bit bored. So I decided to put down some major power to see if he's awake and I get a bit of a lead on him. I get a two second gap and I really try to keep this going even down the hill, but eventually he, he wakes up and puts his own bit of power down to try and catch up. So yeah, that was a bit of a waste of energy, but it was quite fun anyway to see to see if he's paying attention, which he was. Anyway, we've got 5Ks left. He tries to break as well, but I just try to sit in, sit on his wheel now. So I'm trying to make sure I'm very aggressive on the hill so he doesn't have a chance to drop me, but we're just back and forth here. He puts down loads of power. I put down loads of power. Neither of us can drop each other. We've only got four kilometers to go now. It's very spiky, the power. It's just up and down, up and down. Everyone attacking. No one can get away though. Three kilometers to go. I'm getting tired here. My heart rate is getting up. I hope his is as well, but I doubt it. I just want to get to the last 300 meters or so in his wheel and hope I can out sprint him at the end. That's the goal. So two kilometers to go, still just sitting in his wheel, hoping he doesn't go for it really early. I reckon if he does go for it really early, I won't really be able to keep up. He's probably got more sustained power than I do. Anyway, 1.5 kilometers to go. We're almost there, almost, almost there. So let's see if I can hold out for the last one kilometer. So I'm really keeping an eye on his watts per kilogram numbers, but he's still he still manages to get the jump on me. He was very, very sneaky with this, just out of the blue, he just goes for it. He's gone early.
Now what cares? Overall, I was quite happy with that race. Third place in uh, C category. Those other two Cs stuck in the A and B group the whole race. I thought eventually they'd drop and might be able to catch them, but nah, fair place for them. They did well. In the end, it ended up just being a one-on-one -on -one with me and Yama from Japan. So yeah, I thought I might have him at the end, but he played it correctly. He probably figured out he was the lighter rider as well, and they decided to go for the longer long sprint at the end which i just couldn't didn't have enough kick right at the end to to get him done i don't think i reacted quick enough either if i managed to stay in his draft for the whole thing i think maybe maybe i could have done it but oh well I managed to stick with him to the end and he was a b so i'm pretty happy with that and it was on a rolling course as well so it wasn't just flat so yeah overall pretty happy oh about 270 watts for 30 minutes, which I'm pretty good, pretty happy with that as well. It's a good race, good fun, yeah. So onto the Zwift power result. It turns out I am the winner of the Class C category on the basis that I was the only one there. It seems the other people either got disqualified or simply didn't register for Zwift power. So yeah, this is my first ever Class C victory. The last time I won on Class C, for some reason when I crossed the line, it, it didn't work. So yeah, this is my first official Class C victory, which I'm very happy about. The power numbers were pretty good, to be honest. I was very happy with this. I ended up doing 280 watts for 20 minutes and 325 watts for five minutes, which were both my highest ever results on Zwift power. So I was very happy with that. The normalized power as well was very good. It was almost 300 for the whole race, which is around where it should be based on my FTP. But it's good to see that number going up as well. So yeah, very, very happy with these results. And the icing on the top is that now Zwift Power has finally said I may not be a D rider. It says I'm almost C, even though I'm winning C class races. So there you go. It's just one of those weird things, isn't it? But still, I'm very, very happy with this. The progress is coming. So hopefully, hopefully soon I will be able to lose some weight and leave C class and get into B class. That's the goal anyway. Same again next time. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next race. Peace out.